This is the Silicon Graphics Iris Indigo system. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, tear down of it and then I'll uh, hook it up to uh, a monitor and uh, show you uh, how it boots up. The front panel comes off relatively easy so there's no point showing that. Uh, just twist this to get access to the main cards. This is the main CPU card and has all of the RAM as well. And it just slides into that slot there. And this is also upgradable. You can get faster CPU cards that go into, uh, into this system. Uh, stock, this is generally a 25 or 33 megahertz CPU. You can actually see right there, this is the R3000A version of the CPU. And you can also see the uh, 33 speed is indicated right on there. This particular configuration, four sticks of eight megabyte. There you go. So it's got 32 megabytes of total memory. This is the graphic board. It actually includes the standard SGI video interface as well as a VGA connection. The disk drive, as well as hard drives, would slide into right into there. Um, there's plug for power and the uh, data interface at the back there. When I bought this, I think the uh, previous owner removed the drives. And now it's time to fire it up. The error message being displayed on here means that the uh, internal clock battery is dead. And doing a Google search, it tells me that the system will not boot up any further unless the battery is replaced. Just uses a standard 2032 watch battery.